Hello guys, this is Moraj from Imagine Skins, and today I'm going to show you a signature tutorial on how to create a chocolate mudge signature. You could make this signature in any Photoshop version from CS2 to CS4, and I'm using currently CS3. The first thing you're going to need is a render, and I've chosen ODST for this signature. First, you, what you want to do is create a new document, which is going to be a signature document, and size it to 350 by 150 and press OK. You, next, you want to take the render layer and you want to drag it into the signature document. If these renders feel too big for the signature, press Ctrl T or click on Edit Free Transform and you'll see these boxes pop up. After that, you want to hold Shift and drag one of the boxes in the corner to resize the image. What shift and drag does is it resizes it by proportion so the render doesn't become distorted. After you have resized it, you want to duplicate this layer six times by the shortcut Control J or right clicking and clicking on duplicate layer. I find it easier to use the shortcut so that's what I used. Select the background layer and make sure your primary color is the color th that's in the render itself. Press OK. Make sure your background color is black. Next, go to your gradient tool, which is right underneath the eraser tool. And if it's on the paint bucket, just right click and click on gradient tool. Make sure you have radial turned on and you have selected the first preset. Now you want to hold and drag it to the corner so that the lighter part is in around the focal and the black is in the corners. After that you want to select layer 1 and choose the smudge tool which is right underneath the gradient tool and you want to change the following settings. You want to change the brush tip to the 36 chalk smudge uh, tool which is which looks like a rectangular tool and um, make sure you have shape dynamics, scattering, other dynamics and smoothing turned on. Change the follow change the settings for the following as it follows. Um, size jitter 200%, minimum diameter 0%, angle jitter 100%, roundness jitter 0%. Scattering turn on both axes and put the scatter 118% count to 1 and count jitter to 98%. For other dynamics, put the strength jitter to 48% and go back to your signature. <coughs> For the render, before we could start smudging, make sure you have all the layers deselected by turning off the icon that looks like an eyeball. Make sure you have selected your first render layer and hold and drag and just color all of it in. Make sure it's all in one direction. So if you're going from diagonally, make sure it's diagonal in one way. Um, start start to uh, blend in all the colors. Because if you don't blend in, the signature outcome won't look great. Um, next, you want to unhide another render layer. And this time you just want to smudge it very little. I'm just going to smudge it around his shoulders like so and blend it in again. Set both of the smudged layers to linear dodge. It may not be appealing to the eye right now but after we're done with this tutorial it the outcome will look good. Uh, unhide another um, render layer and go to filter, blur, gaussian blur and make sure the radius is at 1% and press OK. Next go to edit, fade gaussian blur and make the mode lighten. Once again make a new layer and make sure you have sample all layers clicked so it's checked off um, and smudge 
the shoulders again and work on the blending. Blend all the colors. Blend all the colors in. Like so. As you can see, there's a difference from the white and the uh, gray. You just want to blend all of it in. So there's not any differences in shade. This takes a lot of patience to do because the blending has to be really good. After you've done that, you could see some marks that's over your focal that you may not like, so simply just use the eraser tool on soft brush and just start erasing some of it. Like so. After that, you want to sharpen all the layers except for your background layer by going to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen, Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen, Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen, Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen. After that, you want to start adding your gradient tools to help with the colors. So click on the black and white icon down here and click on Gradient Map. Choose the black and white preset and press OK. As you can see, there, the black is on the ODST and the background is white. You want to reverse that so the ODST is white and the background is black and press OK. Put the layer on soft light and lower the opacity to your liking. I'm going to keep it at 15%. Go back to the black and white icon, click on green map and this time we're going to choose the purple and orange which is fairly popular for gradient maps um, you could mess around with whatever blending settings you like and lower the opacity but I'm a big fan of soft light lower the opacity to whatever it pleases you um, I'm going to have 35% go back gradient maps and this time I'm going to add a little bit of blue I want the blue for the background, so I'm just going to press OK. Change the blending mode to whatever pleases you. And lower the opacity. If you want to add more colors, then um, you can do whatever pleases you. I'm going to do the black and purple again on soft light. Twenty five percent looks good. Next what most people like to do is add a little light source to the um whole thing. So you want to use a brush tool, make a new layer, and make sure your primary color is set to white and the flow is at sixty percent. You want to use the curved part of the circle, not the whole circle as or else everything will be white. Use the curved part over the head of the focal and just click it once. Um, if you don't like the placement where you placed it, then undo and do it again. This looks good. After that, you want to go back to layer 2 and erase parts that you want to show again. So, I'm going to go back. I'm going to choose like a bigger size to erase with. just like that and use the rectangular tool on black or whatever border color you want to choose but I'm just going to use black and make a white screen border and just add some text There we go. That's our signature tutorial 
on how to create this mod's Chalks mod signature. And that's it until next time. See you later.